Okay, uh, as promised, supervisory control and data acquisition or SCADA systems. Now, um, I mean, as it says, control, um, data acquisition, um, and the data acquisition part uh, really kind of points out one of the problems here. Um, these are devices, uh, pieces of kit, whatever, that are meant to be used remotely. Um, meant, you know, it's, it's not something that uh, people are going to go and directly work on or with. Um, they are, they are going to be connected. Uh, the um, communications may be rudimentary, low bandwidth. Um, these are uh, pieces of gear that are intended to support um, industrial type applications, important pieces of infrastructure that need to be at a distance. Uh, for example, pipelines, um, electrical transmission controls, um, uh, and the transformers for them, uh, managing the electrical grid, um, uh, large-scale water systems, uh, pipelines, oil pipelines, um, right down to uh, industrial processes in in plants that you want to have controlled from a centralized location. You don't have an awful lot of people running around um, doing the control unless the data that you are acquiring uh, tells you that, yes, you need to go and fix this. Um, now, th this... I mean that's that's the first problem is is it tends to be remote it tends to be something that somebody doesn't look at um, every day or even every month it is uh, it is out there uh, somewhere and necessarily in some cases out there as in the case of a pipeline or a, an electrical grid um, in the case of a a large plant like a refinery that uh, you know covers acres and acres of ground uh, uh, sometimes because it's dangerous sometimes uh, because you're you know just you know running great big operations uh, you are producing stuff uh, that a lot of people need so they need a lot of it um, and you're producing tons and tons of it, uh, and so you need a lot of room to produce it, whatever it may be. Uh, the thing is, the, the second thing is that, um, well, it's, it's sort of like the phone system. Um, the phone system is specialized gear. Not many people know how it works. And, in fact, an awful lot of the people that work with it don't know how it works. And so, um, functions, functionality uh, is included in the system, um, sometimes just by accident. I mean, you know, they're working towards uh, a certain type of function, and that function enables certain other functions. Um, and being able, uh, you know, learning that these functions do exist um, and can be controlled is something that only a specialized few uh, learn. Eventually, um, these functions may become important, and so then they become part of the official uh, functionality of the system. But... Um, Sometimes the uh, uh, the function that well it may have been intended 
and then somebody says, oh, well, we really don't need that. But, you know, it's already built into the system now, and so you just don't document it, but it's still there. And so it becomes a deep, dark, dirty secret. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it's there, it's not documented. Um, nobody's using it, so nobody talks about it. It's there to be discovered by accident by somebody who's playing around with it. Uh, sometimes the person who designs it passes it along, or, uh, you know, somebody discovers it, uh, rediscovers it, whatever. Um, but this is, this is what happened with the phone system, that the phone freaks started playing with the phone systems. And the, the, the telcos, the telephone companies, um, uh, most of the people involved in the telephone companies didn't realize that all that functionality was there. And even if uh, management knew that there were functions in the phone switches, you know, they're basically not too concerned about the technical capabilities. And in any case, they're thinking all the people who know how to use this stuff belong to us. Well, no, you know... Uh, if the knowledge is out there, it can be rediscovered. And, and that's what the, you know, the phone freaks did. So same thing is happening with SCADA systems. That um, only a, a very few people um, really understood the functionality and um, what uh, can be done with these systems and, and how much can be done uh, with the systems. And... Uh, so you have a, a situation where the, um, the functionality is there. Um, it can be rediscovered and discovered and, and used by people who aren't supposed to be using it. But there is no protection because the people who own the systems, uh, you know, I, I mean, in financial terms... Um, in property terms, don't think that other people can use it and don't realize the risks of leaving all this functionality in place and the, the possibilities that other people who do not belong to you can discover this functionality and can use it and sometimes can use it against you. So, you know, that's, that's what is happening with... Uh, SCADA and, and that sort of thing. I mean, to a certain extent, it's very similar to what's happening with um, the Internet of Things because, uh, you know, there's, there's people throwing functions at things, devices, systems, um, thinking, well, maybe we can use it as a marketing tool and when you find out that maybe people don't want to buy that particular functionality the function is still there for someone to discover.